उटेड Uh, without any uh, hesitation uh, so madam will uh, going to clarify your doubts okay so my dear friends uh, utilize this wonderful opportunity and uh, today we have three sessions uh, 3 o'clock our respected madam rani madam garu dr rani madam garu 4 o'clock uh, our uh, respected uh, 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 shailaja madam garu and at the same time uh, uh, rukmini devi madam garu so we have three sessions continuously so listen carefully my dear friends madam uh, please uh, share your session and start your uh, session share your screen oh okay sir thank you sir good afternoon my dear students so today we are going to discuss about that the embryo and its development embryogenesis it's nothing but embryogenesis so almost last classes we will discuss some all the microsporogenesis megasporogenesis fertilization triple fusion so uh, for continuous purpose today we are going to discuss about that the embryo genesis generally after uh, fertilization the fertilized egg is called zygote okay we know that so this is also known as oospore after fertilization the fertilized egg is called zygote so or oospore it develops into an embryo so after zygote it develops into embryo the oospore before it actually enters into the process undergoes a period of rest so it may vary from few hours to few months almost so zygote and uh, continuously embryo embryo will take some uh, it's vary from few hours to the few months so after generally the zygote or oospore it divides immediately after the first division of the primary endosperm nucleus uh, but sometimes it divides earlier than the primary endosperm nucleus so almost to few hours to few months embryo will uh, develops into plant we know that so unlike uh, some gymnosperms where the early stages of the development it will show the pre nuclear divisions the first division of zygote is always it's followed by wall formation so after resulting in a two celled pro embryo this is in the gymnosperms uh, practically uh, there are no fundamental differences in the early stages of the development of embryos of monocots and dicots so uh, but in later stages there is a marked difference between the embryos of the dicotyled eggs and monocotyled eggs plants hence uh, their embryogenesis has been considered separately monocot embryo and dicot embryo okay so simply after fertilization fertilized egg is zygote zygote will uh, develop into embryo embryo after development it will uh, look like a plant so in that way almost to will take that the development of embryo in the dicotyled eggs plants or development of embryo in dicots simply development of dicot embryo so according to some uh, the zygote you you can observe here all these diagrams the zygote zygote will convert into two celled uh, pro embryo so basal cell and terminal cell after that it will convert into four celled after second division so that is quadrant stage after that it is four will uh, after mitotic division eight celled stage that is the octant stage so after that in that octant some middle cells five or six cells are act just like suspensor and below minimum eight cells that is the embryo and upper uh, side that is the hastorium so this development will takes uh, continuously in the development of the dicot embryo okay so in this 
almost uh, the mode of the origin of the four celled pro embryo and uh, contribution it made by each of these cells so the base for the classification of the embryonal type uh, in this uh, some according to some soges or according to some snarf or johnson maheshwari so they recognized to five main types of embryos in the dicotyledonous okay development of embryo in dicots so some different uh, scientist so they are in embryologist johnson maheshwari and snarf and some soges so they can recognize five main types of embryos they are that in the two first one is the cruciferous type so all these is not here i think uh, in the first type of that embryo that is the crucifer type second is the asterot type third is the solenoid type fourth one is the caryophyllate type and fifth is the kinopodial type so just a slight difference are there in that uh, the terminal cell of the two celled pro embryo it divides longitudinal walls so that is the cruciferous type in that some basal cell it will plays a little or no role in the development of the embryo so basal cell and terminal cell two celled are there so in that the terminal cell of the two celled pro embryo it divides longitudinally uh, and the basal cell it plays a little or no role in the development of the embryo in the cruciferous type as per in asterot type so in this basal and terminal both cells play an important role in the development of the embryo so asterot type first zygote will uh, undergo the mitotic division two celled are formed so in the two upper one basal and lower one is the terminal cells so these both cells basal and terminal cells plays equal role an important role in the development of embryo in the asterot type but cruciferous type only the terminal cell will play an active role so in this in the solenoid type basal cell usually forms a suspensor of two or more cells in the solenoid type so the upper basal cell it will usually forms a suspensor so almost to, uh, the suspensor will form the middle rows so in that the basal cell plays uh, it is usually forms a suspensor of the two or more cell in the caryophyllate type so basal cell does not divide further almost the upper cell as usual only terminal cell will take the uh, take part in the development of the embryo so in that way the caryophyllate type basal cell does not divide for further development but in the kinopodial type both the basal and terminal cell take part in the development of the embryo so here uh, citing almost to the examples of caspella bursa pastoris so we will take only uh, as per example only caspella bursa pastoris so it's also shepherd's purse it is also known as shepherd's purse so the it detailed study of the only it take first one type that is the cruciferous type is the uh, example of, of the development of the embryo has been uh, just we will study okay so almost the zygote divides transversely to form a two celled pro embryo the cell towards the micropyle is known as the basal cell and the other is known as a terminal cell so almost to the changes happens on the zygote so uh, for the first time hanstein hanstein in 1870 he worked out the details of the development of embryo in the capsella bursa pastoris so capsella bursa it is in your book also there so capsella bursa pastoris a member of cruciferae it is the it belongs to the cruciferae uh, family so later on it was also studied and confirmed by uh, feminitism so in the 1879 i think and uh, several other workers also uh, studied in this uh, plant that is capsella bursa pastoris it belongs to the cruciferae family member so as per the development so the oospore divides transversely just i'll show uh, diagram almost to, so the oospore divides transversely it forming the two cells so a terminal cell and basal cell as usual 
the cell towards the micropylar end, that is the of the embryo sac, that is the suspensor cell, that means basal cell, and the other one makes to the embryo cell or terminal cell. So the terminal cell by subsequent divisions, it gives rise to the embryo, while the basal cell contribute the formation of the suspensor. So as per this, and uh, the terminal cell divides by a vertical divisions, uh, division it forming a four-celled eye-shaped embryo. So this is the four-celled eye-shaped embryo. Uh, in certain plants, the basal cell also forms the hypocartyl. So epicartyl, hypocartyl, uh, that means the root to end of the embryo is known as hypocartyl. The, in the, the basal cell, it forms the hypocartyl part. So hypocartyl means the root end or root apex or root to, uh, tip of the embryo is the hypocartyl. So in addition of the uh, suspension, suspensor cell, so the terminal cells of the four celled pro embryo, it divide vertically at right angle uh, to the first vertical wall forming four cells. So just to upper cells, this is the two celled uh, longitudinally, but this is just to, it is the uh, vertical uh, division will take place. So the terminal cell divides by a vertical division forming a four celled eye shaped embryo. Uh, in certain plants, the basal cell also forms the hypocartyl. So the terminal cells of the four celled pro embryo, it divide vertically at right angle to the first vertical wall forming of the four cells. So now each of the four cells divides transferly into forming the eight celled of the embryo. So this is the eight celled that is octant stage. In this, the four cells next to the suspensor, they are termed the hypobasal or posterior octants. So just to, and the epibasal octants gives rise to the plumule. So this is almost to the pleurome. Just wait in this some plumule also there. So the epibasal octant it gives rise to the plumule and the cotyledons, whereas the hypobasal octants it gives rise to the hypocartyl with the exception of its tip part. So now all the eight cells of the actant it divide periclinally, they forming the outer and inner walls. So the outer cell divides further by anticlinal divisions, they will be. Uh, forming a peripheral layer of the epidermal cells. So the epidermal cells, that is nothing but dermatogen or epidermis. So the inner cells, that is nothing but periblem. And uh, beneath the periblem, the dermatogen and pleurome. So the center part is the pleurome in the central region. So this is the cell of the periblem. It gives rise to the cortex while that of the pleurome form the steel part. These all are some uh, development of the embryo. 1, 2, 2, 4, 8. So, 8 octant in the actant stage. So, epibasal, hypobasal, these both will divide and epibasal, it gives rise to the plumule also. So, after that, one by one cell walls. Outer cell wall is dermatogen and middle layers are the uh, periblem and center is the pleurome. So, it's nothing but steel part. These all parts arise from one by one periclinal and anticlinal divisions continuously. So this is the development of the embryo. So with uh, almost, uh, with the continuous growth of the embryo, it becomes the heart-shaped. So heart-shaped, uh, which is made up of the two primordia of the cotyledons. So each cotyledon, they will appear on either side of the hypocartyl. In most of the dicotyledons, the general course, <coughs> Just to one diagram, I think it's missing. So the general uh, course of the embryo genesis that is followed by as seen in the this plant Capsella bursa pastoris. This is the uh, development of the dicot embryo. So changes will be that increased accumulation of cytoplasm. This need not to say here. And um, dicot embryo phyta almost we will discuss that. Maheshwari six types as per uh, Johnson. So their classification is according to the contribution of apical cell and basal cell. As I told you that, so the first division transversely small apical cell, large basal cell. After small apical cell, it will the three fades according to the division. 
So apical cell of the two cell would pro embryo, it would divide longitudinally, almost cruciferi type, one grad type, astra, uh, astral type, and karyophyllard, solanard, kinopodial. These all are the five types, uh, as I told you. And monocard embryo development, just one or two lines only. After that, you will discuss some bits, just like uh, bits. So the development of the monocartidinous embryo, almost it is also similar to the dicards up to the formation of the octant nana. So in this, just to we'll discuss that part, the development of the monocartidinous, it is similar to the dicards uh, up to formation of the octant stage. So the embryo, embryonia of Sagittaria. So almost to, uh, in, in dicot, that is the capsular bursa pastor is an example, but in the monocartridinous, we'll take one Sagittaria Sagittifolia. That is the uh, embryogeny of the Sagittaria Sagittifolia. It has been considered by several authors to represent the embryogeny of the uh, uh, primitive families of the monocartridinous. So in this, almost the zygote first divides by transferly, uh, transverse wall, uh, into an apical cell and basal cell as usual. So the basal cell, it is situated towards the micropylar end, same, and the apical towards the collagen end. So in this, the basal cell situated towards, just to show the first diagram, that is very comfort to understand, easy to understand. So the basal cell situated towards the micropylar end, so it does not divide further, but it becomes much enlarged to form a conspicuous vesicular cell. So it's uh, during the development of the embryo. In this almost zygote, two cellular stage, three cellular pro embryo, four cellular um, pro embryo. And after the development, the uh, after the quadrant stage, so up to actant, that is as usual. But uh, in this, some divisions uh, after the actant stage, two or three divisions will uh, take anticlinal divisions and the further formation of that. So uh, the cells by further growth and development that develops into a single cotyledon. So finally, the growth and development, it develops into a single cotyledon. So in this, the shoot apex, it originates laterally in a depression situated at some places. So in between the axis of the embryo and the base of the cotyledon. So that is easy to lateral in position. Some cells gives rise to a radical plumule and they develops from uh, almost to other cell and root cap cells develops from the uh, from other row of the cells and suspensor develops from the last row of the cells. So this is the complete development. I think in this the example, what is monocartridin and dicartridinous embryo example and types. And today we are going to discuss some bits just like related to the embryology bits. So some bits just like the first from the first class, what is the ovule or microsporogenesis and ULS of flower, the naked seeded plants are. What is the naked seeded plants are? Just I will give uh, some options, monocotyledons, dicotyledonous, angiosperms, gymnosperms. So the naked seeded plants are dash. What is that, Nana? So that is the, anyone, please.